Welcome to the show, Larry White Outdoors. I'm Larry White, the host of the show, and today we're on the Coosa River and we're gonna catch some shad. We're gonna go stripe fishing. I got my buddy Will Davis here, my main fishing man, and his dad, William. And uh, we're gonna catch some shad and uh, go out on the river and see if we can't catch a striper. Now, this shad catching is a kind of interesting thing. There's shad all over the place, and they're not that hard to catch, but they're hard to keep alive. Now I built a, a bait tank here, just out of a, a piece of a half of a barrel, and it's got a recirculating pump in it. Now in order to keep these shad alive, you gotta add chemicals to this water. They will not stay alive very long in this, in this water that they live in every day. Uh, we're gonna put some salt in this water, and we're gonna put some uh, anti-shock medicine in this water a powder, a blue powder, it's called Bait Saver. And uh, we're gonna put a defoamer in here to keep this water from agitating and, and getting sudgy and causing the shad to die. The key to catching the stripers is having good, lively bait. And uh, maybe we can catch some shad in this pocket. I see some flipping around in here and I'll show you how we catch the shad when we get, when we come back. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. We're fixing to catch some shad and put in this bait tank right here, but first we've got to get this tank ready to hold the shad. And I'm gonna put this salt in there. This is just table salt. It's a box of table salt. It takes about that much salt for 30 gallons of water. One box of table salt. This is a defoamer that I just put in a 20 ounce bottle. Uh, you can buy this defoamer at the bait and tackle store. And this is to keep the water from sudging up. But we need about maybe a cap full, or maybe just a little bit more. Now this keeps the water from getting sudsy and causing the shad to die. This is a bait saver. I buy this in large quantities because I use quite a bit of it. And it's a, it's a purple granular stuff and this is to keep the shad from going into shock. It turns the water sort of a bluish purple color. You get all this in the water and fill this tank up with about 30 gallons of water, these shad ought to stay alive. So now all we gotta do is throw the net and catch them. We're gonna ride around in here and see if we can find some shad flipping on top of the water. Just a pop, pop, pop on top of the water. That indicates that there's probably a large school of shad in there. We're in about five feet of water. We're gonna go as far back as maybe three feet of water. I see some back over in this area. A lot of times you won't see but one or two shad flipping on top. But that usually indicates that there's a whole school under there. We need 40 shad for this fishing trip. Now, it's very, very possible on this lake to catch 200 shad in one throw. Now, I wanna stress this. I can't stress it enough you're much better off to get to the lake where you're gonna fish with 40 good lively shad than you are with 150 dead ones. They won't bite a dead one. So what we wanna do is catch these live shad. We wanna put 40 in this tank. It'll support 40 with no problem. And then uh, we're gonna go catch a striper, I hope. Okay, now we got, we got some shad now. Okay, these are, these are pretty nice ones. Now it's got to be, they got to be got out of there quick or they'll die. Got 
Nope, didn't get them. I got him. I, I got him. Hey, change that water in that bucket for me. I got probably 500. Can you see him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, William, hold that bucket out over the water. We'll back up just a little bit. Okay, I got a lot more than I need here. Count them. Up. We, we got about 40 or 42 baits in this bucket. We got plenty of bait. Now we're going striper fishing. Stick around. I believe you're going to like this. There's one right there. You set that net well. Now you better watch it because sometimes we want to follow this one up. Right. Stepping that in the water. He ain't through yet. Him. See what see what Uncle Larry's talking about, Will. All right, here he comes. He comes, get ready. Don't run well, after I mean, him. Don't ready. run after him. Just hold the dip net in the water. I'll lead him right in there. Don't run after him. I'm not telling you again. Just put the dip net down in the water and I'll lead him right in there. Now we got him. All right. Okay. Okay, hop down now. Okay, this is a this is a saltwater strike. This is what ate that big shad I had on there. Y'all wanna do that again? Yeah, I think we need to. Alright, let's just pull back up there and cover that rock again. Okay, now we're down on the river. Got my little buddy Will Davis here and his daddy William. And we're gonna see if we can't catch a striper with shad we caught a little while ago. This is the way we're gonna rig today. We've got a uh, about a three quarter ounce slip sinker on a barrel swivel. We got about a 18 inch liter, 20 inch liter, something like that. And uh, we're gonna put a shad on this and we're gonna let it down about 15 feet deep. And we're just going to drift with the river current down through here. There's there's a lot of rock piles down in this area. Uh, you find these rock piles by riding around real slow in the boat, and you, and you'll see the water boiling up. And anytime you see the water churning and boiling, there's something shallower right there, which is a good place for these stripers to be. Now they hide behind these rocks, and uh, they wait on these shad to come down the river. And uh, when they come over the rock and the water's going over the rock, it throws the shad kind of off balance and the striper gets him. So that's what I'm looking for. And you, a lot of times you won't even see the fish on the, on the graph when you ride over the rocks. You'll just find a good rocky place. with A lot of ups and downs in it, real close together. So we're gonna, we're gonna get out here and get set up. We'll drift over, we're coming, coming to a rock pile down here in just a minute. The water's not running real strong today, but maybe it'll be strong enough to we'll get a bite. You gotta be real careful with these, putting these shad on here because you hook them in the lip, stand right here. 
you hook him in a, in a lip, and if you don't hold your hand behind the back of his head when you push the hook through, you'll break his neck, and you'll kill the shed. So now we got a good live shed on there, okay? He's going on the other side of the river. <laughs> Get him, Will. Hold just a minute, hold just a minute. All right, now, now, now work on him. Put, pump him, raise it up and reel down. Pump him. He's halfway across the river now, isn't he? Wait a minute, let me tighten that up just a little bit. All right, go. Don't hold that rod tight. Pump him. Come on, keep that rod bent. Bend that rod. Work him on in here. I'm gonna have to chase him with a trolling motor. <laughs> Come on, you got him. Work on him, Will. Up, oh, he's going back up the river now. Up, oh, there he goes. I believe you got him under control. There he comes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes, <laughs> Will. There he comes. You just thought oh, you there he goes. Woohoo! You go, Will Davis. Just hold on to that rod. There you go. Oh, roll his head around here. Bring around here, Will. There you go. That's a way to do it. How about that, Will Davis? How much do you think you weigh? About 25 pounds. Yeah, well, time you get through telling the story, you weigh 25. Uh, yeah, he'll weigh about, about eight pounds, probably. You have to clamp him real tight now. This ain't like a bass. He'll, he'll flop and throw your hand off. All right, pick him up. Tell me what you think he weighs. I think he weighs about eight pounds. About eight pounds. Yeah, you probably All about right. right. Let me get that hook out of his mouth right quick. That's a good job, Will and Uncle Larry. All right. How about that? All right, you put him back in the water. You got him? Got him. All right. Put him in there and see if he'll. There you go. Did he swim off? He good deal. Wave bye bye with that Way tail. Way to go. Way to go. You did a good job. There he is. There he is. Do it. Okay, now I believe you're in the game now. Whoa. Uh oh. Let me get mine out. Get mine on the other side of you. What is it? It's a stride, man. Hold your dip net right there. Just hold your dip net. That's a little bit better one there. Ah, uh, two pounds. Hey, baby, I'll let you go in just a second. No, sir. They got some strong jaws. That's a pretty salt. What you got there, Larry? I got oh, I believe it's a good one. Uh oh. I believe they getting a little bigger. I believe they are too. That right there on the. Uh, he's a. Uh, I believe he's a little green. What do you think? Yeah, he's a good green. Yeah, that is a good one. Got to get his head turned around here. Well, uh, now they're getting a little better. Yeah, they are. Yep, about eight or 
Need some help. Looks like I'm gonna have to get the whole thing. That's a nice one. Good old striper. A lot of fun to catch, aren't they, Larry? They are. Let's go try that again. I'm ready. Hey, I'm ready too. It takes these fish a few seconds to, to eat that big old shad, so you got you, you got to let him have it a little bit when he bites it. You got to let the rod go down with him a little bit. So that's a big old mouthful for him. But it's a good dinner. Well, that's their main food source. Yeah. There's a lot of these big shad out here in this river, but it's hard to catch them out here. You almost can't catch them out here in the net because there's so many rocks and stuff. They want to just pop mine. I'm telling you, he knocked the fire out of mine. He got mine. Hook up with him back up. Okay, okay. You better be watching your pole. You're in a good place, him. That's double. You got a double. Got two on. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine broke off. Oh. Back up, Will. Back up, Will. You better be watching your pole back there now. You can in some dangerous water right here. Mine pulled off, yeah. Just keep watching. Right? Step down, Will. They can't see Uncle Larry. See that one under the boat. Whoa. I believe he's a little green. Yeah. That's a pretty good one there. Yeah, it is. All right, Will. What? Get ready to dip the I'm fish. I'm quite ready. Here he comes. Rolling. Give All it a right. sack. Way to go, Good Will. Good shot. Boy, we like to got the double. Yeah, we worked on it, but. <sighs> no, there you go, Will. Get you him, got Will. him, buddy. Get him, Will. Get him, Will. Oh. <laughs> Move it on up and get you. There we go. All right. See there, you did get one on that, didn't you? Okay, you must be hung, Will. Are you hung, Will? What are you hung on, Will? Huh? What are you hung on? Oh Will? my goodness! What are you hung on? <laughs> are you hung? Let's get a double. Why do we let it go? Whoa! Oh, don't don't let, let my rod go. Don't, don't let it get up on the boat. Whoa, Will. Hold him, Will. I got him. You got him? <laughs> I think he's got you right now. See if another one followed him up. I know what I just got to bite. Wow. Oh, oh, man, oh, I missed him. Wait a minute, Will. Ooh, that's a big one. They're not so close. Oh. Hold the pole, Will. Hold the pole, Will. I know he's barely up. Hey, let me reel that in. That, we made a deal. Yeah. We might Put both deal. thumbs in there. You got him? Got him. My goodness, that fish is almost as long as you are, Will Davis. You caught that all by yourself. All by yourself. Hey, Hold it. Hey, you getting another one? You getting another one? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no bay over there. <laughs> That's my rod. Oh, Why is it? No. No, I'm just teasing you. Just playing with you. We well, was just training you. That's a good one. Turn him loose. Real, real, Leo. All right. That's All right. a good one there. That's a good one. Sure was. Get a chance, give this striper fishing a whirl. I believe you'll really like it. It's a good pull, and it, that's a good fish to eat. But we're just catching them today for the fun of it, and we're just having a good time. And uh, the secret to the whole thing is good bait. You got to have good live bait. You got to take care of the bait. <coughs> it's a good idea to use a kale hook. This is a kale hook. It's a curved. Look, it looks like it's all bent up. But actually the hook is designed to hook these fish in the lip or in the top of the mouth. It's more of a live bait type hook. And this is about a, probably a two alt hook. 
with the size she had that we're fishing with today. You're going to match this hook with the size of the bait, not the size of the fish you think you're going to catch. And these shad can carry this hook around pretty good and swim. If they were little shad, they couldn't handle this hook. It just weighed them down. But uh, if you get a chance to go striper fishing, now's a good time to do it. Any time's a good time to do it. So, till next week, I guess we'll see you somewhere else on the water. I believe you got that. <laughs> I believe you got that. What you got, oil? <laughs> you gonna let that little fish whip you? He oh, sure did. No, did he get off? I think that's something. That's all right. Mm, mm, mm. What a big one. That was a big one. He liked to pull you out of the boat. <laughs> How you getting another one? You getting another one?